beauties. How you doing? Hope you well. I hope you're doing great. First of all, if you see this lump here, this is what I'm wearing today. It's a heart monitor. All right, so I have low blood pressure and I have low, low, low potassium. So I'm taking potassium pills. I'm going to get my blood tested this week and I'm wearing this for two weeks. You don't have to do anything. It's much better. Years ago, I had to wear one after I, I did have a heart ablation where they go in and they, um, they kind of solder things up. And I had that years ago. I think it was in my 40s. Or my, I think it was in my late 40s. Um, but what they're concerned about is that it comes back, the fibrillation, that's the fluttering of the uh, heart. So far, everything's been good. I just went to get myself a new heart doctor in California because I didn't have one here. And I've been going for all kinds of tests. I'm just getting a total physical. So everything's good. I don't mind wearing this because I know that um, I'm being monitored. I kind of like it. <laughs> so it's very bulky and I feel like uh, by accident I'm going to rip it off, but so far so good. So when I was at the heart doctor, he asked me if I had a heart monitor, a blood pressure monitor at home and I said no, but I did just buy one and I'm going to put the link down for you because it is like a very authentic one and it is blood pressure monitor the automatic upper arm this is the target brand it's called up and up it was only $29 and the other ones were like $58 so I mean I love the target brand so it came with a case with the arm sleeve and the uh, hose and the technical controls so, this is really, oh, you see, the minute you turn it on, it checks. Okay, so let's shut that. <laughs> it works good. It tightens up, and it's great. Just wrap this around, and then you plug this into the little technical machine, and um, it takes your blood pressure. So, I bought that just to be cautious. I wanted to show you. So, this is a good one. I love it. It's not like I used to have one that goes around your wrist. The pharmacist said the upper arm is the best one. So I made this video the other day and uh, so funny. All the while they were chopping down trees and I kept doing the video like I didn't even hear it. When I played back the video, it was so noisy. I couldn't even, I wouldn't do this to you. I wouldn't put it up. So I'm just on my phone, and you know how you copy and paste something? So you copy something, you press your finger, it says copy, and you copy. And then you get distracted, and you can, may come back two days later, and you press your finger, it says paste. I, I, I'm amazed at technology, and I'm amazed that you can copy something, and it stays in there, and then you can paste it. Um, okay, so this is my new indulgent. It's got six grams of protein. I know it's not the most healthiest thing, but for an emergency when I'm out, and, and it kind of is like an emergency. If I'm out, I'm running errands, and I, I, I can't get home that fast. If I keep one of these in the car, in my purse, it's the old-fashioned Slim Jim, but it's a little one. And it's got six grams of protein, and it's got one fiber, one sugar, oh, and it's got 130 milligrams of sodium, 10 cholesterol, 3 fat, 1 saturated fat. I think that's not bad. And you know what? It really helps. It really helps when I'm starting to feel like shaky and my sugar's dropping and I'm like, Ooh, I gotta get home. If I eat one of these, excellent. You could find them in the dollar store. And then in your supermarket, this is where I got 14 of them. Okay. And it's only a small one, you know? I didn't want to get the big ones, but... And I, I know, they bring me back to, what, like high school, I think? 
This used to be popular, but I'm always looking for something high protein. And, and it's small, I don't have to open up a whole bar and then only eat a little piece and, you know, waste it. Oh, the makeup I have on today, I want to show you. I have been wearing the It's CC Cream Illumination. Not the other one, only Illumination. I've tried the other one, I don't like it. But Illumination has 50 SPF. So after I put all my serums and my moisturizers on, I put this on, and then I've been trying this foundation, which I've had for about two years, and I've always liked it, but this is my new kick this week. It's by Pure, and it comes in a tube like this, and this color, do you see how that covers? Boom, covers everything. It's called, it's Golden Medium, and the name of the foundation is, I don't know, I don't know what the name is, but it is the Stick Foundation by Pure. There it is, Pure, P-U-R. And it's great. It really is great, and I do love this color for myself. But um, this one is golden medium. They have all colors, and it covers. You could make it as thin as you want. You could make it as, as full coverage as you want. You could put it on with a sponge. You could put it on with a brush. Both are equally well. You could put it on swiping it on your face. I do that too. Or you could just take your brush or your sponge and swipe it along the top of it, you know, and then put it on. Easy peasy and great coverage. Great coverage. I really like this. This was sent to me a few years ago for a review, and I did the review, and now I'm just showing it to you again from Pure through Octoly. So, um, one other thing I want to show you. Um, I, I really like those um, mason jars the nesting ones that I showed you. And I also, I have these, I have a few of these that I bought years ago. Very cute. These are considered the regular mouth. The nesting ones are considered the wide mouth. Okay, so who knew all these things that mason jars have? So you can buy a, a sprayer and attach it. It comes with a little straw inside. And you could use this as your little sprayer for whatever you want. You know, you could use, uh, put peppermint oil and water, and then you have something for your, for the corners for um, bugs, and you could spray your garbage. And you could put oil, uh, no, you could put vinegar, water, and dish soap, and clean your whole house with that. You could put so many things in here. So this is the box that the mason jar lid came in. Very cute, very, very cute. I don't know what I wanna put in here yet. I haven't decided yet, but I think it's great. And it seems like a nice sturdy um, sprayer. I also got the honey, stainless steel honey dipper. So <clears throat> I put my honey in here, I bought great honey on Amazon, two for nine dollars. The honey with the honeycomb, oh, and it tastes so delicious. It's very sticky in the box that it comes with. So I put it in one of these, and I bought the stainless steel dipper that you use with the mason jars. Now, I didn't buy the wood because then I was reading, well, if you wash it, then you have to wait for it to dry before you reinsert it into the honey. I just thought stainless steel is the way to go. And it's such a neat, it's such a neat way to keep your honey. So it's not sticky all over the place. It's easy to get and wait till you taste this honey. I'm gonna put a link down below. It's so worth, if you're doing the charcuterie boards, I don't know how to say that, charcuterie boards. <laughs> charcuterie. Charcuterie. Because I, I don't really know how to say it, but we always had cheese and 
coca boards. We in the seventies. That's all we did when we had company. We always had cheese, crackers, uh, salami, pepperoni. We always had all all kinds of stuff. Now you could put the honey on it too. So I really like that. I've got to show you that. And the honey is so, so delicious if you're looking for a great honey at a great price. So much more to talk about. So much more to show you. So much more to tell you. So have a great, great day. Beautiful week. And remember, I love you. Mwah.